a hot area is always the large mode area fibers. These are kind of uh, fibers who allow you to scale the peak power and also to some extent the average power you can reach with a laser device. Also, uh, very interestingly, we have uh, lots of new materials like uh, phosphate glasses or thulium doped fibers um, and with which emerge. I think uh, fiber lasers are a very hot topic over the last years and uh, there is uh, a lot of uh, work going on both in scaling uh, the average power and peak power of fiber sources but also in um, engineering novel fibers and novel materials like uh, novel glass glasses for optical fibers. We see a, a big trend in novel engineered fibers which can be microstructured or band gap fibers or have uh, novel materials. So those fibers can be important because they allow you to have reach higher peak or average powers in laser devices. They are also important because they allow you to dis engineer dispersion properties uh, which for example can be important for ultrafast devices. Uh, the novel glasses can extend the wavelength coverage you can reach with fiber devices, but they also can uh, allow you to reach higher dopant levels, for example, to, to make more efficient devices. I think we saw some breakthroughs in research, some, some uh, very novel uh, uh, work, but also we saw a lot of new groups catching up, uh, uh, submitting on, on maybe not so novel uh, topics, but basically, especially in the ultra-fast fiber lasers, we saw a lot of new, new, new people submitting to, to this committee. I think especially ultra-fast fiber lasers uh, get more and more established, so it's not anymore an outlier, so to say. And uh, it's also uh, relatively economical to start in it, so you, you don't need a big investment to start work in ultra-fast fiber oscillators, for example. So I think that's a reason why, why we see lots of new groups here.